up guys it's your boy Jose the Garçon back again with another vlog this vlog we're doing some light pickups maybe even a light catch up um about what I've been getting up to I know I haven't been as consistent with the two vlogs a week but um yeah I hope to get back into a routine and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog um normally you guys quite like pickups again like I said I don't really like to do too many pickups just because of this whole like hyper consumption thing i try not to consume so so many garments unless it's something i love then um it's getting skipped but if it's something i love then it's obviously got to get picked up and be put in a pickup vlog for you guys but yeah i hope everyone's been good i hope everyone's enjoying this summer and looking forward to the summer that's coming I hope it lasts as long as possible for everyone out there. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Before we start, guys, I need got a haircut. Been wearing my do rag today. Check, check, check. I need got a haircut. And just a brief, I had to do this because you know we're still a small channel, we still gotta grow. So if you are new to this and you ain't, ain't watched me before. I'm not gonna ask you to sub right now, but at the end, if you've enjoyed it, please sub, leave a like, leave a comment. Like, comment what you guys wanna do, because what you guys wanna see is summer. If you guys are from the US, I'm from Europe, maybe add some destinations where you want me to travel to, or uh, if there's any cool places that you want me to check out in London, in Paris, and wherever, comment that down below, you guys. Comment down everything. So, yeah, let's get into this. So guys, the first pickup that I want to talk about is Stussy 3-pack vest. I know this is a very boring <laughs> beginning thing, but don't log off at this. But this is just an essential for me this summer. I feel like vests are very in at the moment. And um, very this, this vest is very form flattering and I like it a lot. So for those of you that are maybe a bit bigger or even if you are a lot skinnier, or any shape or size this vest is very very flattering and i feel like it fits around all the curves and bumps well as well as sitting well on like your shoulder and for those of you that are a bit broader it just kind of gives you a bit more form a lot more volume and stuff as you can see your boy is getting shredded for the summer i've been working <laughs> but yeah don't leave because we're about to get on a beautiful piece right here. Now I'm cheating because I actually picked this up last summer and it's from Stussy too. And it's this like almost sheer crochet knitted top, um, which is a very, very out there piece. Do you get a few stairs for wearing this, especially as like a more, uh, athletic build guy, I don't wanna say like muscly or whatever, whatever you wanna call it, more muscly build guy. Um, it's very beachy, very breezy, but I found it very, very cool at the time. And I think someone styled it in a way, uh, when I saw it on Stussy, the way they styled it was just so clean that I thought, yeah, this is an instant cop. So yeah, this is from spring, summer, 22 i believe it could even no it's definitely 22 not 21 22 um and it was such a beautiful piece and i feel like with the vest type that's going on i wouldn't really say this vest is perfect for it but i'd say maybe a vest that cuts off more towards the shoulder and then you layer this on top it's it's just so nice and flattering i did wear this when i was in um Mallorca, if you guys haven't seen my Mallorca vlog, but this is this is how it fits, guys, and I really think it's given. It's you know what I mean summer days, you're just chilling, you know, you've been working out, you don't feel like a bit breezy. Um I don't think it'll be for everyone. I feel like you have to be very comfortable slash confident to wear something like this, but you know. Why not be confident in yourself, you know, be confident in your clothing, be creative with it. That's that's what fashion's all about at the end of the day. Expressing your confidence and your what you wanna do. So yeah, this is the 
first really nice summer piece that I ever properly copped and to be honest, I love it. So yeah, so many people are like, I'm an art like this, but that's not gonna change the fact that for me personally, I love this. I mean, it's perfect for the summer. This is just some of the detail up close. It's like, really see-through up close. From afar, it's a little bit more muted. You could always pair it with a short sleeve, long sleeve, whatever. You know the vibe. The next piece, uh, the next piece that I've got um, is this Our Legacy Isola cotton shirt. Very, very summery vibe. Uh, I love the lightweight knit feeling of it. Very, very breezy. Very, very... Um, what's the word transitional as well you can wear it through loads of seasons i feel like um it's just such a beautiful piece i think i would also like to rock it open like that with a vest on show but the problem is i feel like if you wore a white vest it maybe would clash too much so maybe just a slightly off white vest some jewelry very very simple um Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on. Very flowy, very summery, and obviously, our legacy being like one of my favorite brands at the moment, it was it was a very nice cop to pick up. So I'll show you guys what this looks like on body. So this is what it looks like on body. And all the little rests and stuff. I need to iron this out, but very very creamy very light the way it's knitted just done so clean the feeling of it is very very light and flowy but at the same time still very much um it's like a mid mid weight i'd say like it's not too breezy to the point where you're like ah oh, i definitely need something underneath but it's not too heavy to the point where you can't wear it on them warmer days i still feel like you could rock this on them warmer days uh, the buttons are mother of pearl buttons. They look very, very clean. And even when done to the top, I still feel like it's very clean, casual, nice top. So for me, this was a perfect cop because I thought, to be honest, I really wanted a few more smart shirts-ish in my rotation. And I feel like this is very versatile because you could like rock it open with a vest underneath. So I feel like it flows in the summertime, vest underneath, you could rock it open like this and it would still flow quite well. So yeah, that's that. Sticking on the topic of shirts, I'm only gonna show this one briefly. I realized I never really showed it on the vlog. Um, this is a shirt I picked up in Amsterdam. Um, I'm not sure the shop, but if I find it, I'll tag it below. It was a vintage military shop, like everything like military inspired. It had old trench coats, it had um, military boots, bags, bottles, you name it. It was a very, very, very cool store. And in there, I found this over the head uh, army shirt, which is like, they used to wear in the Danish on Danish army, I wanna say. Um, which is like their uniform, and I thought it fit me very, very snug, very neat, almost tailored to me. So um, I liked it. The only thing that I don't love about this is the collar. But other than that, I thought the colour was nice, the sleeves are nice and long, and fold out very, very that very clean and the material of it i don't know whether because it's army or whatever but it's very light yet um durable and and solid so yeah i took this one up in amsterdam for a steal i think it was like 20 euros so and i really like it the only thing that i would change i'll probably get this tailored is the length i just want it to sit slightly like this and then I 
I think it will be perfect if it sits a bit more on the on the waistband. I think that will be such a cool look. Uh, I didn't really think of it at the time because I didn't really have a good tailor at the time. But now I have like a guy that I go to who's a tailor for myself for me. So life's looking good. But yeah, show you guys this briefly. And uh, we'll, we'll keep it as a project. And if I get this tailored, I'll show you guys again what I've got it tailored and what it's looking like now. Right, last but not least, we have probably the pickup that's probably going to be of most use to me and that I'm most happy with. Well, I'm happy with all of them, but this one I love because I love bags in general. And that is the Stussy Times R Legacy Beach Tote Bag. And this. The photo doesn't even, like the video doesn't make it look as big as what it actually is. This bag is huge. Like the amount of stuff you can fit in this bag is insane. So I'm looking forward to like traveling and cramming this for the shit. Um, it does actually have a closure, which I like a lot. Um, as normally these, um, oh. That's not really adjusting, sorry guys. That's the RC tag. That's the detail. I need a limp roller for this bag, that's the only thing. Um, these bags normally don't have clippings to like keep it shut. And they actually thought about that, which I massively, massively appreciate. But sometimes you just want it just want to be able to close your bag. I've got a huge inside pocket. Keep all your stuff in a separate compartment. I just got the Art Legacy Workshop stuff in here. But yeah, probably my it bag for this summer, um, unless it's overkill. But for the most of the time, I like, I don't like putting stuff in my pockets. I said this before, so most of the time I like a nice little go-to bag. I'm still hunting for like my grill side bag. Maybe I'll get that this year. And my grill duffel bag. So stay tuned for the bag updates. Um, yeah. That guys, that is it. Those are my those are my pickups. You know, we keep it short, neat, brief, sweet. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the vlogs and uh, the talk throughs. I will hopefully, hopefully, I know I keep saying this, but hopefully I'll be getting a new camera soon, stop shooting off the iPhone and shoot a little bit, be able to shoot a little bit more content that you guys have been asking for, uh, some of the boxing stuff and as well as some of my workouts and runs. I'll be honest though, when I run, I like to just run without anything on me, I like to keep it clean, um, you know, keep my mind focused on what I'm actually doing. So maybe I'll have to get Eloise to go for a few runs with me, but I'll, I'll break down my like splits and my training and stuff like that. And as opposed to fashion, I feel like September, we got a few stuff for you coming your way. Uh, hopefully going to the Stefan Cook um, runway show. So that should be wavy for you guys that, that are into the fashion week and that kind of stuff. I am too, but I've only been to like a handful, so yeah. Thanks for watching, as always, peace, love, take it easy, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and please leave a like, and yeah, please like, comment, whatever you want, whatever you want to see, um, I'm really trying to push for the content this second half of the year, so let's get it.